Hi again, it's Kat and Chaucer. And I wanted to say, first of all, it was so great to see all of you at last week's GMM. What an amazing night. Uh, thank you again to Cody Goldberg for being our keynote speaker, to the Fund Development Council for helping to host and welcome everyone, and to all of you for really creating um, an inclusive, fun and playful environment for us to do some really cool work together. Uh, it was really energizing for me and I, I hope for you too. Um, a few uh, things that we have to look forward to now include JLP Cares, which we talked a lot about during the GMM, um, the PSU historical exhibit that you can visit for the next few months, Gingerbread Jamboree, which is coming up later in, de in December, um, and a whole bunch of volunteer opportunities where you can roll up your sleeves and serve the local community and develop your skills at the same time. Um, so if you didn't have a chance to check out the agenda with a summary of all those upcoming events, be sure to do so and sign up for um, whatever is gonna make your membership experience the most valuable for you. And uh, keep letting us know what you think and how, how things are going. Um, a few things to know for JLP Cares. If you haven't already signed up for a project site, you want to do that. They're going to start filling up fast. And um, by doing four hours of direct service in the community, that gives you a lot to um, talk about when you're communicating the value and the mission of the Junior League of Portland. Uh, when you are asking family and friends to sponsor you. It communicates to the world that not only are you here learning how to run a nonprofit, learning how to assess and design programs to impact the issues in your community, but you will roll up your sleeves and get to work. That's a Junior League of Portland volunteer. That's what it means. And so this volunteer-a-thon style fundraiser, really, um, it aligns with our mission and it shows the community what we're all about. So. Good luck with all of your fundraising efforts. I can't wait to see how you guys do. And I'm so excited to serve alongside you on October 11th. Now, don't forget after you work on your project, wherever that may be, um, we have the Fall Soiree. This is gonna be at the Jupiter Hotel, which is a very cool venue. If you haven't been, they have a wonderful happy hour, catch a show at the Doug Fir. Uh, it's one of my favorite spots in town. And that's where we're going to have our fall soiree, which will include an amazing silent auction. So uh, we have a lot of really great things that have already been donated for that. If you have um, connections or resources that might lead us to another auction item, be sure to contact the JLP Cares Committee and buy tickets. If you are a participant for the volunteer projects, you will actually get a $25 credit off the cost of your ticket. And there are only a certain number of early bird tickets. Um, so the price will go up as soon as we run out of those. So be sure to get them now and bring friends, family, encourage anyone you meet to come and just celebrate a beautiful fall night in Portland while also supporting the mission of the Junior League of Portland. Um, so after that, you might also want to pay a visit to Portland State University's library. On the first floor of the library for the next few months, starting September 23rd through mid-December, there's going to be an incredible historical exhibit about the Junior League of Portland. Um, it's really cool. Like the, the history that we have, you guys, is 105 years. There are a lot of things that we've done in that time, and this exhibit is a really great way to share that with people. Um, so stay tuned for details. There might be some groups of junior leaguers like yourself meeting up one night uh, to check it out. But the hours are um, pretty, pretty accessible. So most nights they're going to be open Monday through Friday until midnight. And it's in that opening like entryway and lobby area. So they said that if a group of 40 women want to show up, not to worry, you won't disturb students studying. So you don't have to be really quiet. Um, and then maybe go out for drinks afterwards. So that would be a nice night out. Uh, a few other things to keep in mind. We've got lots of volunteer opportunities. We've got um, another fundraising event happening later in the year with Gingerbread Jamboree. So keep checking the calendar for more updates and the hot sheet, of course. Um, and also keep reading more about issue-based community impact. There will be a vote later at the end of the year um, where we're gonna talk about 
how we want to reorganize the Junior League of Portland and which issues we really want to get very strategic in making sure we make a measurable impact. Um, so start reading up on IBCI, Issue-Based Community Impact, to learn more so that you can prepare to be ready uh, to have an opinion, ask questions, and make an informed decision when we get to that point. It's not for a few more months, but I wanted to just keep planting that seed so that we continue the discussion about how the Junior League of Portland can maximize its impact. Thanks, guys. See you soon.